to save tons of money on my car insurance by fleeing the scene of an accident. <laughs> On the show, we truly are as a culture, so it's gonna come on at like 8 o'clock, 8.30. <laughs> Some days it's not even gonna come on, it's gonna call in sick. <laughs> and while we're talking about black people, man, what's up with that voice sounds? <laughs> Seriously, every time I call my black friends, they gotta sit through a three minute Kanye West song before I leave the Then, like halfway through the song, you forgot you called. You're like, oh snap, this is my jam. <laughs> Went to high school at uh, Pacific Palisades. Yeah? Yeah! yeah. Okay. A lot of um, white kids went there. It was pretty cool though. The only day I hated going to school with a bunch of white kids was on picture day, you know? It was really racist. Like, they put all the white kids in line A. They get these life size laminated porches of themselves. But they put all the black kids in line Q. And all we got was a 3x5 black and white Polaroid. to Utah in January. I was a little tired when I get back from the jet lag. Cause it's like, what, nine o'clock here in 1965 there? <laughs> Actually, the last time I got on a plane it was pretty crazy, man. Terrorists tried to get on my flight. Like, true story, I'm standing in a flight, we're about to head to uh, San Francisco. And I turn around, there's three Middle Eastern dudes standing right behind me, right? I'm like, oh, curse word. Like, out of all the... <laughs> dude wants to blow up the plane, you know? But that doesn't make me racist. I just had a racist moment. Case in point, <laughs> white people. Let's say you're sitting in your car, two black dudes start to walk, what do you do? Lock, Lock your doors, door. exactly. <laughs> doesn't make you racist, you just had a racist moment, right? If you locked your doors, then ran over those two black dudes in your car, then there's a slight chance you might be racist. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Hey, I got over my racist moment, you know? So we get on the plane. Killer. There's only like 20 people on the plane, right? These guys are all joking and laughing around before we get on the plane. We get on the plane, these guys all sit separately from each other. One sits in the front, one sits in the back, one in the middle. I'm like, oh, goodness, dude, it's about to go down. <laughs> Now when black people, I start freaking out at this point, right? I'm just like scared out of my mind. Now when black people get scared, the first thing we do is look for the black people. Yeah, you know, something goes down, we got each other's back, right? And we all use the same universal signal to let each other know, like, look, I got your back, right? You frown, tilt your head up. That's it. like no black people on the plane. So I'm like tripping at this point. I'm sweating like R. Kelly at a Girl Scout meeting. It's just like, <laughs> for me. So we get on the plane, finally we board, and right before we're about to take off, like three like undercover uh, FBI agents come on and tell the dudes to get off. And as soon as they got out of the plane, the pilot was like, okay, we are leaving, right? So now this will be the fastest flight to We'll be there in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and they already hate flying, you know? Not that I'm afraid of flying, but don't pilots just always get on your nerves? They just say random things that no one really cares about. You know, they have that annoying voice. It's like, Shh, uh, this is your captain suit. Uh, I'm flying over Wichita, Kansas, population 100,000. Uh, there's a small beach farm over to the left. is 25. Like, dude, I don't care about the barometric pressure, man. I'm trying to find out who the killer is on CSI. <laughs> so, I finally get to San Francisco safely, thank you. <laughs> and uh, I go to this really nice dinner party, right? This you know, nice uh, place, everyone's all dressed up and stuff. And um, I'm starving at this point. So this lady walks over to her 10-year-old son who's hosting the uh, 
dinner and she goes, you know what? Well, Johnny, I need your help really quick. I want you to put your toys aside and tell mommy to this table, okay? And he goes, no, mom, it's playtime now. <laughs> I'm like, oh, snap, this is the white kid lost his mind. He's about to get slapped in the throat. <laughs> Right? But she's white. She puts him on time out and she walks away. Right? So she comes back like two minutes later and I kid you not. She, she's like pleading with the kid at this point, right? So she's like, come on, like, just put your toys down and just help mommy to the table, okay? And this is a true story, I swear. He goes, how about you pretend I'm invisible and do it yourself? last so much longer.